Ladies and gents, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I'm in the woods with Dustin from Bushcraft Tools. Uh, and we're building a shelter today. We're building a mix, it's a teepee style shelter. And it's gonna be a mixture of natural materials and man-made materials. Because the forecast at the moment is meant to be fairly heavy rain coming in, but it's not coming yet, fingers crossed. We will need to get the tarp over the shelter. So it's gonna be a mixture of tarp. Then we're gonna get some cedar boughs and put those on top. On the inside, we're hoping to get a small ground sheet of the tarp and then throw some of Dustin's deer hides on there as well. It's gonna be a feast, no doubt. It always is with Dustin. I hope you enjoy this episode. Thank you so much for clicking on it. Mike, welcome back to the Woodland Festival. Good to be here. Um, right, so this time what we're doing, we are building a nice teepee. We're using a bit of cedar. We've used lots of cedar in the previous videos. Lovely resourceful material, nice long lengths to build frames and structures out of. It's also good for keeping us warm at night time. We do have the wood burning stove in here tonight, so we should be nice and cozy and dry. What we've done here is we've just got a load of cedar bark stripped off and then we've created a bit of a wreath which we've then threaded over the lengths of wood. By opening the wood up, it kind of, what happens is as you thread them over, the wood locks in. So we've got a wreath of cedar bark, the wood locks in, and we've just got a bit of a pyramid, a, uh, a teepee style shelter. The idea is to have this, use this, and to make use of a good tarp. Well, tarp wise, we've got a bit of a plasticky tarp but it'll keep the rain off. We know there's rain tonight. So by putting the, the tarp around th this pyramid, this kind of tripod of cedar, cedar lengths, it means that it gives us good dome, a good area where we can have a nice camp for tonight. Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. Thank you. 
So what we're doing is just getting some dead cedar boughs and putting them on the outside of the top. Not, not for aesthetic purposes, but more uh, to keep, when it's windy, to keep the tarp actually on top of the structure itself. Otherwise it's going to flap loads. So uh, yeah, the rain's coming in. We've had quite a bit of rain already, so we're glad we got the tarp up. Yeah, it's really it, great. It's coming, it's coming down. Time. Yeah, we're just in time. It's coming down. Well, it's fairly heavy out in the open, but in here it's not too heavy yet, but it is coming down, so. Gonna fire up the stove soon as well. It's half three, so we're dark in half an hour. Probably half an hour yeah, we're gonna get not dark. Got much, not, much, not got much light left. Not got a lot of light left at all. So yeah, we're gonna get some firewood, get the stove going. We've got a fire pit outside. Let's show you that quickly. So we've got the classic pot hanger set up that Dustin tends to use. It's good though, isn't it? It's efficient. Yeah, it works every time. It's great. <clears throat> so we've just got two Y sticks essentially, a crossbar, a pot hanger. We've got the kettle the skillet. We're not in the wilderness here, we're just in Dustin's woodland. Um, they have kind of done a bit of management, so there's loads of cedar trees that have been forested down. We've raised the stove up as well onto some large cedar rounds, so that we could, if you look now, you, you probably can't see it if I turn this up, just to allow when that wind comes in, to allow a bit more draw <coughs> and just create better airflow in the stove itself. So that's why we've raised it up on the inside of the tent. Also means it's a lot easier to get wood in and out. We don't have to actually bend right over to get the wood down low. We've got it up nice and high. Got Amber with us as well. It's gonna be good. We're gonna cook up some good food, have a good time. And yeah, come and join us on a good adventure. Well, we've just finished splitting a bit of wood for tonight, make sure to keep us warm. This is a bit of tinder, this is a bit of the uh, cedar bark again. What I did is I collected it about half an hour ago. After I collected it, I quickly fluffed it up. It did have a bit of moisture in it, so it might be a little bit tricky getting this to, to catch. Just fluffed it up. The beauty of the cedar bark is that, the great thing is that it's so fibrous. As soon as you break it up into your hand and really give it a bit like that, it turns into a nice fluffy tinder, which, so then I stuck in my pocket, and over the last half an hour, it, well, from it being in my pocket, it, it, it acted as a, uh, as a dryer, so it's actually a little bit drier than it was about half an hour ago. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's nice to have a bit of warmth in there. You can see your breath, I don't know if you can see my breath, probably see, yeah, you can see your breath. <laughs> we're, we're forecasted two freeze tonight, but that's that's out in the open, so in this woodland we won't get frost, I don't think. But I'm really glad that we managed to get the tarp yeah. right down to the ground, so there's no air, cold air that's, that's, that'll be blowing through tonight. And we've got the warmth of that debris on top, as yeah. well as an insulator. Yeah. So and we've got the wood stove. We've got a blooming wood stove, yeah, so we're sorted. <laughs> this is where we've raised the, whoop, the wood stove up here on these uh, two rounds. 
which are about in Dustin Ford and there's loads of these rounds uh, lying around. Lying around, rounds lying around. <laughs> so we raised the stove, stove up as you can see and that's meant that that's uh, got the stove pipe nice and high so we can get a good draw from the flue. And yeah, we can uh, get the stove going and get things nice and warm. But we are dry. Yep. We are cosy and dry. Up in the tent. Right, well, while we wait for the fire to warm up, here's a little his little snack, a little bar snack. This is cured boar. Boar. So it's it's basically boar salami. Oh, amazing. Boar salami. First time, probably first time having I think I've had, like I say, boar jerky. And this was shot by my girlfriend's dad. Really? Mm. Oh, that is good. Really tasty. That is really good. Boar salami, mm. there you go. Well, so good, I'm about to cut some more up. And that, <laughs> that is really good. Mm. It's a tough meat, isn't it? Being a quite a tough animal, probably like wild boar, but. So flavoursome. Mm. And with those big bits of fat in there as yeah. well. Yeah, look at the bits of fat. And then the smoke, you can you can taste the smoke in it as well. It's been smoked Yeah. when it's been cured. Yeah, really smoky. Mm. That is something else. Oh, it's really good. Just to update you guys, it's absolutely tipping it down. It is. What time are we dusting? 5.30ish? Yeah, by, yeah. 5.30 in the evening. It, it looks like it's really late, but it's not. So uh, we're gonna, this shower's meant to pass in about 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes. Once that's passed, then we can focus a bit more on the filming, but my microphone has been playing up, so apologies for you guys listening, if there's crackling, but hopefully, hopefully it goes away. Hopefully the rain goes away anyway. But we're prepared, we've got the tarp, we've got the debris on top of that, so we're completely prepared yeah. for this rain. We've got the stove going. Got loads of firewood. Yeah, we're absolutely prepared, it's Just good. Just leave the rain to stop. Yeah. And then um, we can cook up we some can nice eat. food. <laughs> So here's the setup, ladies and gents. We've got the stove going. Uh, there's plenty of plenty of wood in there at the moment for what we need. So I've turned the damper down a bit because we're getting ready to cook. I say we, Dustin's getting ready to cook. We've got the skillet on there, the cast iron skillet. We did have some boiling water and had a tea earlier. Up here, I just hung a little mini lantern that I've got. A little paraffin lantern, like the old um, Hurricane ones or the storm lanterns. Uh, so I've made sure that that's not burning. I put it on the bail arm so it's not burning the actual paracord itself. We've sealed up the top a little bit better. And it's looking good in here. We've got the wood. It's got slightly wet some of it. That's pretty wet. But we've got some dry stuff as well down here. And that, to be honest, the stove's so hot. If I turn the light down, it'd be interesting if you can see this. You'll see the glow of the stove. Hold on. No, you won't. <coughs> Too it's still too uh, bright, but there's a, there is a glow there. If you can see that. It's just there at the back of the stove. You can just about make out that glow. Usually when I put a new piece in, I'll just open the damper a bit, just to get that fresh piece burning nice and quick and dry it out, especially where the wood's so wet at the moment. I just open that damper full, let the air draft come in nice and quick and just heat up that wood and evaporate that moisture. And this, it, usually if it was rain if it wasn't raining, I would I would just dampen that down. You can see the cedar ring, the cedar the cedar ring that Dustin made earlier that we put the large cedar logs through. That's all there. Holding up nicely. Bit of drippage where the water's come through, 
but it doesn't matter because it's we're, we're dry where we're sat over here and yeah we camp is looking good Nothing for you, Amber. Let's put a little bit of oil in the pan. A bit more, not too much. Right. Start off with a few prawns. Oh, lovely. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, on the top of them prawns, we're gonna just drop these onions and then leave them there. Once we turn these prawns in a minute or two, we can get the onions cooking. Oh, wow. Can we do Right, let's get these all all of these little prawns to turn. Well they smell amazing. They do. And I'm about to drop in a bit of garlic as well. Oh, oh, oh. So we are just give the onion a little mix. It's all cooking. It's not roaring, they we haven't got very We haven't cranked it up loads it's not yet. Fully cranked. Just put in a bit of this garlic as well. Give it a little mix. Then leave that for another, leave it for another two minutes. Sweet. They're looking really good. They're cooking well. So what I'm just going to do now is put all these to one side. And then our final ingredient, we've got some nice fresh squid. Whoop. Oh yeah. So the squid, the trick with squid is to cook it hot and fast. So we're just going to leave this literally like a minute. And, that, and, and then that'll be it. Cook, look how fast that squid cooks. Oh, look at this dish. Amazing. Just give it a turn like that. Move the heat. Move yeah. the heat. There's quite a lot of heat right there. Because the heat is actually towards the back of the stove at the moment, where that drawer is, drawing the flame up that way. So a lot of the heat is kind of around here. Oh, look at those prawns. <laughs> I so love, good. I absolutely love prawns. They look so good. I'm one of those guys that, when I eat my prawn, I like to get the head and squeeze it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Suck the juices out, because <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's really good. <laughs> Re really, really tasty. Yeah. It looks, it does smell amazing, those prawns smell amazing. Oh, oh prawn down. Prawn down. Get him back in, five second rule. Five second rule, back in. Well, I think we are ready <laughs> to serve it up. It Serving it up, guys, it's just gonna be just finger food. Yeah. Feast is, the feast is upon us. We're cozy in the tent. <clears throat> we were re we were saying earlier we regret not bringing a thermometer in here to see how warm oh, it's it is. It's lovely and warm. Lovely it's, and warm. It's cold out. It's cold out. It's about two degrees out. But look at this. We've got some squid rings. Here we are. Here's dinner. Onion. Oh, we've got homemade chopsticks as well, which I'm struggling yeah. to use. 
That's smoking squid. These are 30 second chopsticks. Yeah. Cedar chopsticks. Cedar chopsticks. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, struggling to use I think these. Amber approves. Oh, oh. The squid. That squid is bang on. Oh, that's really nice. You absolutely nailed that. Let me tell you, those squid lovers out there, Dustin nailed this. You absolutely nailed it. That's really good. My chopsticks aren't very good. No, no. <laughs> One of my chopsticks was just really short. <laughs> oh, and thin as well. Mm. So I think... Oh, man. I'm going to just change it up. That is fantastic. Let me get that piece of squid there. Look at that, people. If it will focus. But look at the dish there. Prawns, onion, garlic, squid. Mm. And this is the starter. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's oh, amazing. Love it. That is amazing. I'm going to dig into one of these Go prawns. for it, mate. Go for it. I'm cleaning up on some squid at the moment. Place that down there. So you like eating all the head of the, the prawn as well. Show the guys oh, how I you eat it, your yeah. prawn. <laughs> just... Well, first of all, what Snap I do... The... Oh, snap the head off. Dropped it straight into the pan. Snap the head off. Yep. Give it a little squeeze. Get the juice. <laughs> Get those calories. Oh, so much flavour in that. I bet. So much flavour. Oh, it's lovely, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that meat. It just falls away from the shell. Yeah. That's like, these are decent prawns, you know. They are, yeah, tiger prawns. They're not exactly local. N no. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. Oh, they're hot. They're tasty. Ah, uh, Amber. Tiger prawn. Most of you should know mm. a tiger prawn when you see him. That is <laughs> roasting hot. It's still steaming, look. That is, oh, God, that's hot, you know. Can you blame her? No. <laughs> it, if, it, honestly, do. it smells so good in here, guys. Stove, you can hear it now. I should probably turn it down a bit. The stove, you're going to town. You like your prawns, I don't you? I love prawns. <laughs> All I can hear is prawns and mussels and uh, yeah, shellfish. I love. Yeah. It. We have been waiting for a little while because it's been raining. Oh, we've had, yeah. So we've had to put this off. It was just the rain was meant to stop at six. It's probably about half seven now. Yeah, we had a prolonged period of rain. My microphone, as I say, has been playing up, which has delayed filming by quite a, quite a bit actually. And this is only the starter. Yeah. I better get that microphone sorted. Hey, Amber. She's trying to eat the shell. <laughs> what, the, uh, the prawn shell. Let me get in on that bit. Squid head. I thought that was, <laughs> it was that. Tasty. Yeah, the mm. little te the tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles, yeah. I did think that when I saw it. And the rain has finally stopped from the sounds of it. Yeah. Finally stopped, fire's roaring, it's nice and cosy, nice and warm. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far, where we're just feasting. If you want to uh, watch other videos that I've done with Dustin, I'll put some links in the description below. And you can see uh, we've done a, a three-day trip here, which is good. Trip, yep. We did a, a similar similar kind of shelter where we did a mixture of natural materials and tarp. Yeah, yeah. It was more of a dome. It was more of a dome, but we had some heavy winds come in on that, oh, didn't yeah. we? Absolutely <laughs> storm force, yeah. I think. That was really good. And then we did a one before that was a just an overnight, so a two-day trip. Um, again, Amber was with us on both those. And that was, um, we made some raised beds and we just strung a tarp above them. And then we just got uh, uh, some deer, deer hides, just put the deer hides on the beds, didn't we? I think I called it like deer hide beds. Yeah, it was like raised beds, raised beds. Yeah, using natural materials. It was all just dead trees. Yeah, because we're winter time. We have to, it's dark at four. If you're starting a natural shelter, I didn't get here till 10, 11. Amber, this is a two and a half hour drive, a two hour drive. Amber. So you have to start really early if you're gonna build, especially a two person shelter. You do. You need to start early. And given the forecast, we thought, well, let's just do a mixture of tarp and uh, a mixture of tarp and bushcraft. That brain juice is good. It is so good. Really but you can nice. see why they make such a good like stock out of like oh yeah fish heads and prawn heads and things like that because there's so much flavour in there. Yeah, they were nice. Do we need the chopsticks again? No. Cool. Burn them. Put a wood now. 
gonna get some more, got some more chopped up here, but again, you can see how damp it is. So, so, there's, the, there's the dry wood down there. That's a dry piece. Look at all this stuff. It's soaked, but the stove's so hot that it just evaporates the, the moisture in the wood. And that, what we're trying to do really at the moment is just build up some embers by uh, cutting in some smaller pieces. It sounds dry. But it's, it is wet, isn't it? But it's just Weird. got a lot of moisture in it. And you can it see. Burns and it burns out, it doesn't really leave any, it, yeah. any hot cold. <clears throat> it didn't help with the rain earlier because I think the rain was hitting, it was pushing the smoke back down the stove and it was almost dousing the, get up, almost dousing the fire itself where the, the smoke was just coming down and it was coming back, well not back out the stove, but it was just smothering the fire from where so much rain was uh, hitting outside, but we haven't we haven't chopped these lengths. They're not perfect to uh, the length of the stove. If I was going to sort of do a, a, a proper winter overnighter, I would chop this to the length of the stove so it goes all the way through. But this is doing a job just fine. We're just loading it up and keeping it keeping it full. That's the main thing. Try and keep it full with fuel, especially when it's wet. If you let it go and load, then it gets really hard to get going again. Amber's still scrounging. <laughs> what a surprise. But no, now it's going. We just keep it going. And it's go there. Oh, it's so toasty, isn't it? I'll leave it half and half, I think, for this bit. Time check. Half and half. We are, what, half six? No, half seven. Half seven. Beer o'clock. Speaking of, Arthur's out. So there we go folks, we're on the outside of the shelter and you can see the kind of setup we've got at the top here. There's the support sticks on the tripod. We've got two different types of tarp, a uh, kind of lightweight tarp and a heavy duty tarp. We've got all this, we'll show you more tomorrow morning, but we've got all this debris on the outside just to pin it all down. But I also put the stovepipe protector on and I can touch that with my hand and I'm not getting burnt. So I know that the tarp's not going to get burnt either. Definitely worth it for sessions like this, where you're using a tarp or any type of material that's, you know, not that not not good with flames or sparks. But that is an absolute godsend. That. And this is the inside of the shelter. So setup-wise, we've got the stove bang smack in the middle, raised up on the two the two rounds. My kind of area over there, which has the Guinness. <laughs> Dustin's area over here. Amber don't goes yeah. where she wants. This is me tonight. This is Amber right here. Yeah, Amber it's gonna be, be my, my pillow. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> and and all the heat is just bouncing off these tarps. This, both these tarps. Life is good. Amber's still looking for some yeah. shrimp shell. <laughs> yeah, I think we're on to main course soon. Eight. It's good. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Fire's certainly hot enough. Hot. <laughs> hot. That is hot. Definitely hot now. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got some sausages and then we've got some hot dog breads as well. So oh. we're just pretty much having hot dogs in the woods. Oh yeah, keeping it simple. And what I do have is a bit of this Mo Mountain hot sauce, which is lovely. I've heard my subscribers really talk about good. this. Made in the USA. Not too hot and uh, <laughs> not too cool. Right, so the next Thing I'm going to eat will be a hot dog and we've got onions sausages I'm just going to put these bread rolls on the side of the stove well drop that one oh I'll get it thank you sausage in there get some of these onions oh, oh, oh. that'll that was sort Amber out <laughs> boom Thank you, sir. There you go. Enjoy. I will get the camera on a tripod and you can get yours sorted as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, not for you, Amber. 
Oh, these are looking good. No. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> this is to all the US fans in your Mo Mountains. <laughs> Never had it before. Amber. Amber's going to try and eat it. She's just fo What? No. Amber, here, come here. <coughs> come here and sit. Come here. On. Here, in, in. Amber, in. <laughs> Amber. You need to direct no. her with a sausage. Amber, <laughs> here, go on, here, go on. in, in, sit. She's so close. Sit. Come, in, in. Go on. In. Oh, she's so stubborn. Come on, in. She just doesn't Amber, move. move. In. So. Sit. <laughs> sit. 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 Stay. Stay there. Stay. Let's give it a go. Cheers, guys. Dustin, cheers for some good food, man. Cheers. Stove is roaring. Turn that down. Mmm. Oh, lovely. No mountain goes well on it. That's really good. No, not for you. No. Oh, it's quite hot, though. Yeah. Your, yours must be a lot harder than Mine's got a this kick. One. I bet it does. I'm glad I've got Guinness <laughs> to chase it down with to mellow the spice. Dustin put like half a bottle of Mo, Mo, Mo Mountain on my. <laughs> if my mouth's burning, yours must Yeah, be you put like half Guinness. a bottle on it. Is <laughs> Dustin was like, oh, it's really liquidy, this sauce, and just poured loads on there. Yeah, my mouth's on fire. <laughs> but it, but no, she went for it. No. Amber, no. No, trust me, your butt will hurt if you eat this. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be. It will not end well for you, Amber. She put it this way: at least she's, she, at least she's sleeping in your sleeping bag. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's been licking her lips for days. <laughs> oh, it's hot. My son. Mm. The sausage is just swimming in it. Oh, so good though. It is good. I would put that as like, a, I was saying to you earlier, like a piri piri, mm. piri piri type spice. Cool. So it's time for a, time for another monkey shoulder. Monkey shoulder, it's been a while. It's been about a month, <laughs> if that. About that, about a month. Anything to chase down that blimmin' mountain. <clears throat> so we've got these lovely little black Mora, Mora cups, Mora knife cups. They fold or something, they collapse. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Cheers, Dustin. Thank you very much for having me, mate, again. No worries. And uh, to all the subscribers Cheers. out there watching another overnighter of myself and Dustin, <laughs> cheers. Thank you for watching if you're still sticking around. We've got more stuff to do probably tomorrow. Uh, cook up some more food. Maybe actually yeah. get the fire going outside because we didn't tonight. And uh, yeah, just enjoy ourselves in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Thank cheers. you. We've, we've got it loaded up and it's toasty, it's it toasty in here, it's cold outside, life is good. Life is We're good. We're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. Guys, we are going to say good night and we'll see you in the morning. Night, Dustin. Night, dude. Take it easy. See you in the morning, buddy. Sleep, sleep well. Strong one. It's all right. <laughs> on top Get up. a bit more hot water. Hot water on tap. Good Even morning. Morning, everyone. We're here outside the shelter. We're still alive. And uh, we didn't get any rain after that shot last no. night when we were filming, we got no rain. But we've actually opened up the shelter. This is how we originally wanted it. We had a pole coming right down here and that's where we got the other tarp to completely conceal it. Conceal it. Which was probably a good thing because when that rain did come down... Oh yeah, it really did we needed come that. down. We yeah. would have got soaked on this side and the stove, yeah, yeah, everything yeah, would have yeah. got wet. But so that rain, the tarp, it just caught the rain, diverted yeah. it, sent it away from where we were, yeah. kept us dry. 
we just we just pretty much sat down for like an yeah. hour just waited for that rain to go we couldn't really do anything yeah we just knowing that it would finish at like six exactly o'clock, which yeah. ended up being about eight o'clock yeah we just shut it out but we're this morning is stunning it was cold this morning um but we woke up obviously when the stove burns out the the temperature drops inside but there's no frost around here there may have been frost out in the open there's no frost out here so it didn't get down to zero no uh, but either way, it was really toasty still in there. Falling Compared asleep to, out to that warmth, it was just like it was like being at home, you know. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Going to get the open fire going as well, and hopefully cook up a bit of breakfast, uh, or maybe just another tea. Who knows? But yeah, we're pretty pleased with this shelter. It could, you know, it could probably sleep three. I'd say quite yeah, comfortably. Yeah. It's probably a three-person shelter, but well, it's slept two and a dog. It slept two and a dog comfortably. Really spacious. Yeah, loads of room, and I'm glad we raised the stove up slightly higher because the drawer look how clean you can't you guys can't see but it's such a clean burn now no smoke such at all. a clean burn yeah you can just see it shimmering I'll show you uh, on the camera in a bit but we're probably gonna yeah get a bit of breakfast have a slow morning break down this shelter leave no trace yeah and uh, yeah crack on to the next adventure yeah again though Mike it's been great it has been another really good one. Yeah, a really good one. It's been good. We've got plans, guys. Me and Dustin have been talking. I'm not going to tell you yet, but we've got some plans for some really cool stuff. We're going big. We're going big. <laughs> it's going to take us three days, <laughs> maybe <laughs> four days. <laughs> yeah. But we've got some really good plans. So stick around. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you subscribe to Dustin as well, Bushcraft Tools, because uh, there's going to be some epic content coming up. Let's get some breakfast on. Let's do it. Let's do it. So you can see by adding the cedar boughs, which are dead by the way anyway, you can see they're brown, just by adding those cedar boughs on the outside of the shelter, not only does it make it blend in, I mean when you look at it from kind of down low you wouldn't really know there's a, there's a shelter there, except for the stove and the smoke giving it away. But by doing that, it works two, two ways it does, it pins down all that tarp so that if there's strong winds the tarp doesn't flap, and the second thing is obviously like I said it's blending in to your environment if you wanted to get a bit a bit more stealthy. It also gives it that, that kind of aesthetic look where it's not so much plastic of the tarp but a bit more natural materials as well that we found and scavenged around the wooden. Just love seeing that stove puffing away like that. That would that'd be a great winter setup. We're right at the end of autumn at the moment. Um, all the leaves are on the ground so you can see. Very, very leafy. But uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe in winter, myself and Dustin, let us know. We might do another one and do maybe a couple of days in it. Let's get some breakfast on. Oak trees are losing all their leaves. These cedars are still well and truly because they're evergreen. They're staying there. They're not going anywhere soon. They're big cedars. Very thin though, because it's quite dense. Nice oak here that we've got right next to the shelter itself. Big old oak and another one beyond Dustin there. Lovely big English oak. I think there's some ash as well, right through the back there, the long thin ones and poplar. just going to leave these cooking for the next 10 or so minutes and put some onions in towards the end we might go for a little stroll in that bit of pine wood there if we're lucky we could find whoops potato down it's all good 
if we're lucky, in that pine wood, we might be able to find some winter chanterelles. So this oil looks nice and hot. We're basically, we're basically just shallow frying potatoes for breakfast. Might not be the healthiest of breakfasts, but it'll be something. In fact, I might just cut, chop up one or two more potatoes and throw them in there. Yeah, we'll just leave these for a little bit and then we'll, we'll add some of this spice mix that I've got. And then more some spice after the Mayo Mountain. <laughs> not hot, not hot. It's more, of a, it's more of a rub. It's actually a Greek rub. I went to Greece a few months ago and I got this lovely selection box of different, different rubs. And uh, yeah, they're really tasty. A boil in here, so we're just going to get rid of some of this oil. We don't need all of it. All right, so they're looking good. Drop some onions in here. There you go, onions are in. So, in the meantime, this is the seasoning mix I was on about. So, we'll just. So, this is the Greek one? This is the Greek one. Um, and what is it exactly? Like, I really don't. I don't know what it is. My mountain. But when you, yeah, <laughs> but when you mix this with with meat, it really is tasty. So I like to put some of this on on chicken and leave it overnight. Yeah. And it just gives it a, makes it you know really really tasty. One more thing. These don't need long. Put them in there. Some these potatoes on the top, and it's just going to warm them through. So actually, what started with just potatoes and maybe an onion, <laughs> it's turned into a good dish, isn't it? And we just had a look. The mushrooms in this woodland are not the right mushrooms. Basically, we're after winter chanterelles, and there's none here. Well, there might be. It's a big, big woodland. We've only had a little mm. ten-minute walk, but I think I think this this will do us for yeah. now, really. Yeah. It's breakfast. Look at that. Oh, I might join you on it. Oh, that Greek seasoning. <laughs> Amazing. Mm. It can just, that can go on squirrel or pigeon or anything. Yeah, that's really nice. Or rabbit. It's almost like a curry, curry type. Yeah, I think there's a lot of cumin in it. Yeah. There we are, breakfast is served. <laughs> Tuck in. That looks that looks like a good mixture there. Healthy gr healthy greens as well. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, mm. we've got a lovely crunch to these. Potatoes covered in that covered in yeah. that seasoning. Well, I'm pretty happy with the shelter, mm. the food. Last night, we were just saying about the prawns last night. Oh. Something else. They were the best part of the, yeah. the dish. Best oh. part of the prawn? The head. Yeah. The juice. That brain gravy. <laughs> it was good. Every time we do a shelter, or we do a camp out, yeah. ooh, excuse me, I'm splitting my food everywhere. Every time we do a camp out, it just works so well. Mm. And it's comfortable. And we adapt. Yeah. The last one. And every time you do one, you learn adapted. from your previous one, where you went wrong, yeah. what was good, what was bad about it, and you improve your next shelter yeah. that much more with um, just from experience. Yeah. It's still oh, probably it's... only two or three degrees today. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah, it's cold. Obviously, we're not minus 30. We've got three we're not t-shirts in... on under this. Yeah, we're not in um, areas where it gets... Siberia. Yeah, like really, really cold. This is pretty normal temperatures for this yeah. time of year, to be fair. But yeah, the, the cold weather's finally coming in because it's, it, it's been mild November so far. But we've barely had any frosts. Yeah, that's true. So I reckon we're going to have a very cold Feb, Jan, maybe Jan, Feb, March. So this is uh, the setup that we've built. You can see the teepee shape of a tarp with the supports up there. I've got the stovepipe protector, which is completely cold when I, when I touch it. And that was because we had another tarp at night, which we folded over here. But you can see it's not burnt there. Not burnt the wood at all. And there's the ring of cedar bark that we used to cinch it all together. That's still absolutely rigid as anything. 
and then inside we had all the deer hides on some tarp as well just to stop any moisture we backed up some leaves against the back there uh, just to stop anything from any grass from coming in the stove was the centerpiece that worked really well there I was sleeping this side with the wool blanket on some hides Dustin was this side and Amber was over in the middle and the view from the inside this is the view from the inside that we had and it was super good really warm nice and secure it was awesome it was really cool great view to have isn't it it was lovely yeah. <laughs> look at that just awesome lovely. so good belly full of food cup so of tea are we finished with this fire at the front we're done with the fire at the front i'm going to use up the rest of the water and put it out good man As with anything bushcraft, gotta leave no trace. So we're gonna take off the debris, take off the tops, obviously we can use those again. And we might reuse some of those long poles. Uh, so we're probably gonna store them upright against a tree rather than just leaving them on the ground to kind of rot and dry away.
As you can see, leave no trace, other than the, the big round we've got there. You wouldn't even know the TP was here. Nope. Pretty pretty tough with that. No, it's just leaves and a few muddy footprints. Yeah, it's a good clear up job. Well, thanks so much for watching this episode. Been good fun. I've absolutely loved it, mate. Cheers. Mate, Been as usual, pleasure. as Been always. An absolute pleasure. Uh, like I say, we've got some really good plans to I'm not going to give away too much yet, but we've got some really good plans, uh, some collaborations with Dustin coming up over the next few months. So make sure you're subscribed because we've got some pretty wacky projects out there we do, that's, we do. that's on the way uh, and they're going to be really good. I can't wait to bring them to you guys. Big plans, yeah. big plans. And for those wondering about gear uh, and the, the gear that we use in this video, I'll pop as much information in the description below, things like the wood stove and everything like that, um, just general gear. Everything you need to know is in the description below, recipes and all that. Uh, also, TA merchandise, it helps support the channel. T-shirts and hoodies, you can get those at taofficial.com. Again, links are all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll catch up with you in the next episode. <laughs> oh, what a closeout. That yeah. bark. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>